All right, guys, I'm going to show you our StarCraft trailer. Um, our kids have decided that they are a little too old for bunk beds, but I wanted to show this off because it was really fantastic for us. And if your kids are about, I don't know, 5 to 15, this is probably the perfect trailer for you. So when you first walk in the front doors to the right, you have the kids' amazing room. So we've got the four bunk beds, as you can see here. Underneath both, as you can see under this one, both of those lift up in case you need extra storage. but they've also got the six uh, drawers right in front. And as soon as you come into their little room here, see, they've got a nice little door. Night, night, children. You've got a wardrobe here with a drawer, and then you've got a wardrobe on this side. Whoop, there we go, with a drawer as well. So these drawers are not little. You've got a decent amount of space. So what my children did, I have two kids, and so each of them decided which side was going to be theirs and they would decide each trip if they were going to sleep top or bottom. Um, and then they got that side's worth of drawers. So it tended to be that they were on the top bunk and then eventually as they got a little older they moved to the bottom bunk. Um, but they always used the top drawer for all of their junk and then shirts, socks, underwear, all that kind of stuff took the bottom too. So you've got a good amount of storage under here. I've got the mattress on so it's hard to lift, but you can totally store stuff under there if you need to. We tended to hide board games and stuff under there, that way when the kids were younger we had to get them out, we didn't end up with pieces everywhere. Uh, so there's the wardrobe, excellent size. We've got a little uh, thing we're going to leave in here for the next people because our kids aren't kids anymore. Alright, so there's the wardrobe. Both of those come with mirrors, Jellystone Park. Uh, and again, they've got the drawer. So this is, oh, there's one of my children. So that's their door. So, and it does kind of latch, you can see there. So at the end of the day, when you guys kind of want to go to sleep and they still want to be on their devices, you're not going to get the, the light and the glare uh, from whatever they're doing. So when we leave their bedroom, and this just kind of snaps. There we go. So you can have the door open, absolutely. So whoop, let's go back. So when we leave their bedroom, you have your door to the left. We've got some hooks up here that we've placed up. Uh, we had hanging organizers to keep track of activity schedules and things um, for campgrounds that we were at with the kids. We'd hang our keys up there, hats up there, that kind of stuff. You've got your main um, light switches up there. So we've just come in and the bathroom is right across from us. So one of the things I absolutely loved about this bathroom was it actually had a place for towels. You'd be surprised when you're looking for a trailer. Um, they don't always come with space for putting stuff. I don't know how they plan on you living. So there we go. Three shelves in that cabinet for toilet paper, paper towel, towels, anything you want in there. We've permanently affixed that. It's just a shoe rack, but that always held our... Um, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, all that kind of stuff. We just threw it in there because it was easy to grab. Sometimes we had to rinse the kids with the outside shower. Maybe a little too messy to bring them in. Um, you've got your vanity. Hello. And then again, we've got some command hooks up there. Um, we tended to hang uh, bathing suits and stuff to dry. And it's got a beautiful tub shower. So if you're looking for something that has space for kids and their stuff, this is fantastic. You've got tons of room for everything you're going to need to take with you and then we even threw one of those on the top of the door as well because you can always use extra um, stuff to hang. So we've got an air conditioner of course how the heck do you travel these days without an air conditioner. All right so it may be just blowing a little bit through. So I'm going to get my daughter to open this stuff for us. The freezer is a great size freezer you can absolutely arrange uh, the shelf if you need plus the door is pretty perfect so you've got lots of room in there and the fridge as well. There we go. So you got your two bins down there for whatever you'd like. We tended to use fruits and vegetables, but it's whatever uh, suits your fancy. Milk and juice bottles and stuff fit really easily in the door. And I will say that we usually have about a week's worth of groceries between the fridge and freezer when we travel. So 
so that's perfect all right and i'm gonna get her to open the pantry because another thing that we found very difficult was finding <laughs> A pantry you either had a wardrobe or a pantry heaven forbid you want food and clothes this one was actually thinking so the top shelf up there uh, tended to be actually where we traveled with an extra Keurig heaven forbid we couldn't make coffee um, but our Keurig fit up there as well as our ice maker for travel we put those up there and then you still have two more shelves down there they're really deep shelves they were great for any uh, cereal boxes rice that kind of thing we use this small one down here uh, for some of our silicone cookware that we had, uh, small little um, omelet makers and, and things like that, little prep bowls or mixing bowls that we had went in there. So you have lots of space here for food and uh, some of your cookware. So that leads to our bed. Um, so this bed, as you can see, is technically over the couch and a dining table. So the bed actually slides out once you're at your destination, it's not electric, so you don't need to worry about stuff breaking down because all of a sudden you can't get your bed out and now you have no couch and no dining table. It just slides out at the back and you put a couple poles in to keep it in place. Um, so the bed is perfect and although you can't see it, there is electrical um, like plugs to be able to plug your stuff in around that side there. So you're good to go with that and you've got some shelves, which is great. Uh, we have makeshift curtains up here. Um, we had some beautiful ones up, but because we are actually getting rid of our trailer, uh, we have substituted them for some ones that we just found at a local store because we wanted to keep our curtains with us for the next one. Um, so you've got a shelf here. Technically, it's your TV shelf. You can see you've got your plugs, uh, your plugins right there for a TV. Uh, to be perfectly honest, what we did, Ice Maker went there. You can get one, um, I'm going to say Canadian Tire just because that's where we got ours, but any travel Ice Maker is great. So we put our Ice Maker here and our toaster here, and we ended up putting our TV um, on a bunk, a bottom bunk of a child that wasn't using it. And when we were ready to use it, it actually went on the TV or in the uh, kitchen table because we could lounge on the couch, lounge on the bed, and lounge on uh, the kitchen uh, seating as well for us to all watch TV. So this above the sink is actually where we kept our dishes. We had in here, because it is quite deep as you can see, so we had a shelf, just one of those separator shelves. We had four small plates, four large plates, four mugs, and I wanna say, floor to ceiling in here of kids plastic cups for a couple of years so you get far more than enough space to hold your dishes there because let's face it you got to wash them after every meal anyway you're in a trailer there's no dishwasher but you do have a double sink which comes in great for uh, washing and drying so you've got a double sink here which is perfect a little bit of counter space here we did have a drying rack that we would put here, just one of the small ones that you can get at the store, but we ended up finding a roll-up rack that would go straight across from sink to sink. It fit perfectly. You could actually just leave your dishes on there to dry. That was perfect. So if you uh, invest in a roll-up rack, it's gonna be able to cover far more of your dirty dishes or clean dishes in this case, um, and get them off your counter and get them dried a lot faster. Uh, this is just for little trinkets for the kids. Sometimes they get like tickets and stuff from an arcade. And then you just have two really deep drawers like this. We actually just put cutlery in here um, and then tongs and serving spoons and things like that beside it. And the one down, uh, oh goodness, plastic wrap, aluminum foil, all that kind of fun stuff. In here, pots and pans uh, and whatever else might be a little larger that you want to use. Ooh, we're getting a glare from the window. There we go. So pots and pans and things like that that you might want to use. On the bottom when we were traveling was our hand soap, our dish soap, all that kind of stuff, which once we arrived would head up on the top and just hang out by the sink. And finally, we had a little spice rack and knife holder attached. And we've got our stove, our oven and our stove. So you've got a three burner stove. You've got your oven down here. 
Uh, it does fit a quarter sheet pan, no problem. It, so the smaller sheet pans, uh, we're also able to fit some of the smaller frying pans and stuff in there as well. We absolutely, as you can tell, uh, use the oven. It does warm up the trailer a little bit. That's to be expected. Your oven in your house heats up your house. Um, but you've got your stove top and then your microwave. So if it's a rainy day or you uh, decide that you want to camp in the winter, which we did quite a bit, um, we would take the trailer out until about uh, Thanksgiving weekend and we started about Easter weekend every year. So there were some cooler starts to our camping every year, um, but having these definitely helped warm things up a little bit so we didn't have to cook outside. Uh, but that's it guys, that is our StarCraft trailer, queen size bed, fold out couch, fold down dining, perfectly sized pantry, fridge and freezer, bathroom with great storage for towels, gotta love an AC, and then the quad bunks for the kids along with the two wardrobes. Enjoy your traveling.